I am fascinated with how we dress before we dress. What secrets do we hide? My name is Sarah Nilsson, and this is Unmentionables Through the Decades. Smalls, underthings, underwear, unmentionables, intimates, whatever the name, everybody wears them. And if you don't, I don't need to know. I love all the little frilly, girly bits of lace and cottons and smooth silks. So this year, I plan to make a set of underthings for every decade of the 20th century. This will be a chance to improve my sewing skills, especially in working with lace and fine finishing techniques. I feel I have a solid grasp of the basics and would love to move on to make more heirloom quality pieces. Also, this project will lay the foundation for any 20th century costume that I make in the future. Half the work will already be done. Plus, it just makes me happy to sew pretty things, and that's enough reason for me. I will be using patterns from a wide variety of companies. I have plans for at least one project each from Simplicity, Budricks, McCall's, and Vogue. There will almost certainly be more than one from each company when the whole project is finished. I do own several true vintage patterns from the 70s and 80s that I hope to use. Also, I have several patterns from independent pattern companies planned. Patterns for underthings aren't widely available in the big four. They offer very few even modern styles of underwear, let alone vintage style so I will have to seek out reproductions. I plan to use patterns from Etsy, as well as a Reconstructing History, and maybe folkwear patterns. The exact project for each decade will vary depending on the fashion of the day and the availability of patterns. For the 1930s, for example, I made a two-piece set, but for the 80s, I have an original pattern from the era for a nightgown and a robe that I'm going to use. A secondary goal for this project is to stash bust as much as possible. I have a huge stash of fabric, even after a major decluttering session. Small items such as bras and camisoles will use up small lengths of fabric that I love and get them out of the stash. Some of these fabrics have been sitting around for years and I'm so excited to finally use and enjoy them. In the future, I hope to even continue this project reaching back even further in time. Maybe one set for each century from the 13th to the 19th century? That'll definitely take some time, especially the 15th to the 19th centuries. So many layers. I am so excited for this project. I hope you'll enjoy following this journey. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you've a mind to do so. Wishing you creativity and a dash of pixie dust. Bye for now.